In northeastern Manitoba, thick gray smoke billows above a raging forest fire near Little Grand Rapids. For many, getting away from it took nothing less than a military effort. Part of an emergency airlift for James Eichen and his sister, the only way out. I'm relieved, really relieved. I just went back to get my sister. Over the last 24 hours, the military has been helping with an airlift using this CC-130 Hercules aircraft. It can carry 88 people at a time. The problem is, it's too big to land in the community. So they've been landing here, Red Lake, Ontario, 160 kilometers away. There's a runway big enough for the Herc to pick up evacuees buried through the thick smoke by that Chinook helicopter. 30 at a time. I'll be your loadmaster on board C-130 Hercules this morning. It's all very tense as 60 people are picked up at once. The Aishans were in this first group. 24 hours earlier, they had to turn back from the Little Grand Rapids airport. They sent us back down because uh, there was a fire right by the airport. The helicopter ride here solved that. Now it only takes minutes to get everyone loaded. Then in the air, a one hour flight southwest away from the smoke to Winnipeg. All around, plenty of tired, and worried faces. On the ground, there's relief to finally be out of harm's way. Uh, everything's good. Feel happy to be here. Now, in a Winnipeg hotel, the Aishans wonder what they'll go back to. We might not realize how devastating it is right now. They're just thankful to be away from the flames. I'm just happy to be here. I, I wouldn't want to do it again. While now, just about everyone is out, those flames are also not letting up. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.